I'm Zach, Zach Retail here playing Hello Neighbor. So, in the previous episode, um, we uh, did Act One. So now we're gonna now we're gonna start Act Two. I'm so excited. Let's get this started. And we need to turn this up a little bit. So you can't really do anything here right now. Alright. And look at that. Now we can go through the store and now I'll go through some basics here, okay? So some gamers said you can't really go come back here without ghost mode, but you can. So let me show you, let me prove to you you can. See this pipe here? You can just jump on it. See, and look, boom! We're in this area without ghost mode. And listen to that. Isn't that creepy? That is creepy. And also, and people said that you can't, some gamers said that um, you can't access this room either without ghost mode, but you can. I just figured out how you can do this. So then, I can prove to you guys that you can do this without ghost mode. See, look. I can go through this room, but I am not going to drop down. And look, it's even louder than ever. That is a creepy sound. Look how dark it is back there. See, you can't even see a thing up ahead, but the room ends all the way down there. And listen to that sound. Okay. Now, listen to it. Isn't that creepy? Listen to that. That is the most creepiest sound I've ever heard, especially on mobiles. This creeped out a lot of gamers. It didn't creep, creep out me though. See, look, I did. I gone through this area without ghost mode. So the gamers say you can't really uh, go through this area without ghost mode. You guys are wrong. You, you guys, you guys are wrong. You guys can access that part without ghost mode. You can access this part without ghost mode too. Just use the vent and just set right there. See, and then boom, we're right here. We're here. Look, I got past the hall. And look, it turned darker. Watch the... See, look. It turned dark. It's completely dark. And this is the end of the hall, so we'll go ahead and go out. See, I can prove to you guys, you guys can really do this without ghost mode. And that was a proof right there you can't, you can't do it without ghost mode. So, if you want to get out... Just hop on that red thing right there, where the dot's on. And then hop onto here, onto this thing, the one I'm standing on right now. And then, make a jump over the fence. And boom, you're back out. You're back. And, if you really want to go to the other area, just take this through the vent. Just take this. And then, then just place it here. And boom, see you're here. But I'm not, I am not gonna drop down, or else you're you're stuck here, and we're at the end of the restart. So I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so that's it for the basement. Let's go up here and start Act Two. I learned how to do this, so I can I can walk you through this whole entire process. So here we go. Coming out of the basement. Okay, the first thing you do is flip all those levers first. That's the very first thing you do. And there's a neighbor. Put this first one. Okay, you caught me while I was the lever. Okay, and skip that. So they watch it once, but once you watch it many times, you say, eh, I'm just gonna skip it. Okay, now, like I said, the neighbor 
sees you just running around the building, then he'll he'll give up. Once he does, then you can just access into go into his house and put this other level. And now he's going the way he needs to be. Okay, now he's really on the run, so let's go and go around the building again. Tire him out. And then we'll grab a basketball. I'll just drop it for now. Okay, so... And then... How do you get here? How do you get here before me? Oh my goodness, man. Okay, so... Let's try this again. Now it's night time. Let's hope he's not in the kitchen. If he is... Okay, we need that much. And, um, he's still here. My goodness, why are you... You don't want me to come in your kitchen? Fine, I'll just have to find another way in. Okay, so, like I said, old neighbor is really coming with me, towards you. If it's easy, you're coming towards you, run around the building. It works. So we get tired of chasing you. So let's hope he's down in the kitchen. Looks like he's not yeah, where he is. Something to do, and got me. But now I got the wrench. And now we can go and open this thing, bad boy up. Got that. And you really need this. This is the most important thing. Oh! And, uh, um, we forgot about one thing. We're gonna set this here. Okay, and then. Oh man, okay, well, I feel bad. Okay, let's try again. Okay, and now, gently. There you go. And there you go, we got that one going too. So now that should pop the wheel off that thing. Oh, wow, you took that. And now the next thing you need to do is use the wheel on that, on that part right there, and the other one on the outside ladder. You want to get the generator going, you have to follow these steps. So first of all, place the wheel in here, turn it, and do the same for the back, for the back side. Okay, so first of all, you have to go up the slider. And this time, instead of going on the roof, you have to go on these pipes right here. And then, turn that. Okay, so we are there, turn that, and then that should allow you to do it. Okay, so and then now, to drain the shark water, first thing you need to do is try not to get caught by the neighbor, and follow these basic steps. Let's see. Let me show you the shark real quick, and then I'll allow everyone to do it. Okay, so first of all, the, sh the shark is in here, and there's a shark, and it's full of water. You can't do anything about this. See, when you get in the water, the shark gets you. But there is a way to drain the water, so let me show you how to drain the water. First time we're going the wrong way, so let me go this way. And that's why you need the box. That's what you need, that's what the crate's for. So first of all, place the crate right here. Okay, let's see. Uh, place the crate right there. There. And then this will allow you to jump up on here. And reach this bigot right here. Place it there, place the wheel on that spigot, and turn it on. And that will take, that will drain the shark water. Just wait until it stops. And then take the wheel. And then now, 
Let's get to the shark water. Let's eat those sides. Run up here. You can still, you still can hear the shark, but he won't get you. And now, in this process, you can grab the shark. You can use it wherever you want. And also, you can grab the shovels underneath the water. Then go through this door, and then grab this key to unlock that, that door right there. And then open this door, and then open that door. And then you can go down this ladder to reach the dollhouse. And then you can go and grab this chair, the same for the key. Grab this chair, just put somewhere. And then you can go through this door right here. And now we can go out to the backyard and, and dig out that grave. Yeah, it's just saying, uh, let me just throw this with it, and let's open this door, and we do that, and let's grab the key, and then, we'll open this, and we got to get to the grave, I don't know where the neighbor is, that might be the problem, okay, so run this way, so he's not doing you. So you shouldn't really be able to find me now, so it's going to be time to dig out this hole. Okay, and then once you're done, just throw the shovel. That works. And then, open up this casket, throw this out of the way. And grab the dollhouse key. And that's where you find the dollhouse key. Am I stuck in it? I am stuck in it. Okay. Let's restart. Let's restart. Okay, so now we have the dollhouse key. So now, we can go to that dollhouse. And we can, we can enter this way. Or maybe not. There's a neighbor in the way. Peace is everywhere. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do this. Go up here. And now you should have access to the bathroom and that other room right there. So first thing we're going to do is close this door so you can't find me. Or maybe you can. There you go. You can open this door and that door. So now you have the access to the bathroom and that other room. So you have access to this room, and that's on hot, but that needs to be on cold. And then, now you have access to, to the bathroom, so let's go there. Okay, and then, we got, oh, hold on, so we can just put the bathroom, we don't need more. And how do you get in here? Okay. But now we have this kind of cool looking guy. We have this figure here. And now we can take it to the dollhouse. And this is very simple, guys, okay? Listen carefully, see? See this toy here? Use the use button. You can click him there. See, see what I did there? I placed the guy on the toilet. So that means now he's very, very big when you have a toilet. He's like the man sleeping. And look, so he's very, very big, and you can grab the toilet bar. And there you go, there's your escape. Okay. okay, so now this is very quite simple. We can use, we can use the key to break this window. This will get the neighbor's attention. Close this door so you can see you. And make sure you turn this pot. And turn the wheel. 
to the rear, come out here, go around the front. This should allow you to turn this thing on. And there you go. Second escape done. And now, I think I managed to do this correctly. I think now that other room is cold. Okay, so. Here it is not. So. Okay, so. Let's close room up the water. Put the wheel. Put this. Oh, okay, and now, it's frozen already, that's good. Okay, this is the step in the right direction. It's frozen. Alright, good, now we can just jump in here, get through here, and boom, we found the red key. And here you go, all three states managed. That's how you do it. That's and then gotta hurry up before the neighbor finds you. You can manage to escape three ways. So, so you can use the crowbar to to get all these nails out and, and there's your escape. Then you can you can use items like boxes, crates, and stuff to get to a the brain, then that and then you escape. Or you can use this red key. I want I want this red lock. Open this door and boom, you can escape. There you go, all three escapes. All figured, all solved. And that's the end of that too. And that's the walkthrough. Man, that neighbor is so mad. Imagine how he's gonna be in real life. Okay. Act 3 is now in session, but I am going to end the video here, so thank you guys for watching this video, please like, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys really enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Game on.